Hi everybody. Hey, I'm here again today doing more videos. Uh, hopefully I'll get a couple of made. We'll see what happens. It's been a while because the holidays happened and uh, you know, all that stuff that goes on with the holidays. There's a lot to do. There's a cat walking behind me. That's cowboy. Anyway, <laughs> cowboy slip is huge. Anyway, um, uh, hopefully there will not be too many animal disruptions. I have now, because my sister's moving back here, and my nephew, I'm taking care of five cats and two dogs. Yeah, five cats and two dogs. It's a lot. I And hopefully Lulu, who is an 18-year-old minpin who's blind, will not interrupt what's going on. You know, when you're 18 years old and you're blind and you want something, uh, you know, you have to do something about it. That's it. She gets what she wants most of the time. Uh-oh. See, there we go. That was Peanut, though. Anyway, my famous Peanut. He has his own Instagram page. Not really. He could, though. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with it. Um, I am uh, going to, this little talk is about uh, the Akashic Records and, and what that means and what that is and um, how I'm able to do that. I um, can tap into the Akashic Records and what the Akashic Records are, are um, what are they? They are a record, it's sort of like a library of everything that happens to you in this lifetime and I mean everything is recorded there is a record of it in these in some etheric place where you can have access to these records um, and this goes for all lifetimes through all lifetimes to your soul individuating from source into um, into becoming a spirit, I guess, is a good way to say it. Anyway, so, um, the reason why I can do this, um, I was, I, I talk about this a little bit in one of my other videos and on my blog. Um, this was back in New York. I was meditating and chanting in the bathtub. And, um, you know, water is a good conduit of uh, psychic energy. So I was meditating and... All of a sudden, I popped up into uh, that place right before you come here. Uh, the spirit world right before you come here now. Uh, I don't know if there are different ones for different people who come from different places. I have not explored that. Certainly a possibility. But I was standing in front of mm, a guy. And it was on a precipice that looks like the kind of like the jumping off point into coming here. And the information I got from when this happened was that my mother was already pregnant with me and um, I wasn't fully attached to the body yet, to the fetus, to my body. Um, and I had been hovering around my mom and dad and uh, just picking up on what's really going on there. And there, it was very intense, there was a lot of um, sadness, anxiety, frustration, depression. I mean, there's a lot of um, sadness in this family. Now, my mom already had two uh, children at this point, and it was my two brothers, and they both had um, cystic fibrosis. So there was definitely, she was dealing with a lot of illness. She was deaf. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff there. And so I was going, I was saying to this guy, I don't want to go there. I have changed my mind. I don't like those people. Uh, I don't think I want to uh, come into this uh, lifetime. And, and he was very wise. You could tell a lot of wisdom and coming from this guy who seemed like an elder. And he said that, well, you know, this is what we decided. It's the best thing to do. And really, really, you should do it. It's the peanut. What is going on? Sorry, <laughs> peanut is growling at something. Anyway, really, you should go. 
um, it's the best decision, it's the best choice. So obviously I'm here, so I decided to come here after all. But, oh, oh I can't I have to say one more thing. This place was absolutely beautiful. I could see it was like a city, a crystalline city of beautiful, beautiful golden white, more white than gold, golden white buildings uh, that were shimmery and shiny and, and some were see-through and or like crystalline or selenite, absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so that is uh, part of how I can do this. So one day, um, having had that experience, um, I was doing an energy healing on somebody and uh, <clears throat> we went back to uh, their birth coming into this and I thought, all of a sudden I thought to myself, you know, I have been to that place. I've been to that pre-birth place. I know what it looks like. I have connected to beings there who help us decide what we're doing here. So I decided to just try it. And so I asked their, and I call them the high council, I asked their high council to, to step forward and communicate with me about this person and what information I can give them. And so that is how I started doing it, and it worked. I can see, I could see um, the energy that someone comes into this life with. Um, what you can, I could see what hmm, what what they bring in here to heal. So what kind of perhaps maladies or illness or. Uh, difficulties, what kind of difficulty situations are going to happen, what they bring, what uh, sort of like predetermined mm, things that they're going to experience in this lifetime for reasons of, uh, for lessons, what they need to learn. Also, it could be what, what they're here to learn, what um, could be a karmic reason, what they need to um, uh, release karmically what they need to learn, what they, hmm, uh, what they need to understand, what understanding do they have to bring to life. Also, what gifts, which is really wonderful, what gifts did you bring into this lifetime to, uh, to grow and to share and to assist other people, which gets into purpose. And so what is your purpose. You can see what your purpose is. Not all of it, there we have many purposes here, but what are the main ones? Um, so what are you doing here? And so what, what can you heal? What do you bring? Um, and also the cast of characters. What about the cast of characters that, uh, that you are surrounded by in this lifetime that you need to work some stuff out with or they need to work some stuff out? And usually it's just, about lessons and healing and then unwrapping what you brought in so that you can live a more full life and and having uh, connecting to your akashic records can help you with this type of information it's really cool um, and then after that you can go back into past lives and you can actually i can see past lives i've been able to see past lives in other people for quite some time i see my own i see other people's um, uh, that helps with the explanation or the why, the why these people are showing up, why, uh, what they need to learn too, uh, what you need to learn and what you need to, um, what actions maybe you need to do to make your, a life better for yourself, what you can let go of, what you can shift and change. So you can get all this information from a past life, um, uh, from past lives, actually that information from an Akashic record reading. And I want you to encourage, and I want to encourage you to try this yourself. Um, uh, just tapping into what um, what you can learn from your own akashic records, and you trying it yourself. And all you have to do is ask. That's what I did. Just ask. And so, what you would do is go into a meditative state, perhaps do a little breath work to take you into a more relaxed state. Um, Peanuts whimpering a little bit in the background, and I don't know why. <laughs> 
So what you would do, meditate, maybe do some breath work, go into a calm state, ask your guides or your teachers or your higher self to step forward and assist you in seeing into your Akashic records. Ask to connect with that high council. I saw a guy and there were other people in the background there too, but this was a guy that I was talking to. Ask to see, to meet with your high council and see what information you, they can give you and just see, ask, um, you know, the, this kind of work and all of this kind of work, the biggest thing to doing it is to ask. Asking for the information, asking for assistance, asking for help. As they say, you know, if you ask, ask will come. Uh, Jesus, did I really say that? <laughs> if you ask, assistance will show up and help you. Um, it is really, really true. So just, so try it at home. Um, try it in a, um, sitting by a stream, try it in a beautiful place that you absolutely love. Um, see what happens, experiment with it. And you can always get help, uh, doing it too, like coming to someone like me. Anyway, I do readings. I do remote readings. I do remote work, um, through Zoom or telephone or telephone. It's an old fashioned through the phone, uh, WhatsApp, whatever. <laughs> there, it's, there are so many uh, ways to do that these days or in person. Um, uh, it's a really wonderful experience to know and receive this information. And also when I do energy healing, I give this information too. It's kind of a energy healing. It's, uh, there's a lot of Akashic record information that comes through too. So but you can just get an Akashic record reading if you want to, if that's what you need. Anyway, that's it. Um, have a wonderful afternoon, morning, night, wherever you are in the world. Um, be adventurous, have fun, um, and mm, tear down some of those old belief systems and start living outside of your box. That's what we're supposed to do. Anyway, have a really, really, really great day wherever you are. Bye for now.